Hey guys, um, just doing a little bit of a different video today. Um, as most of you know, I have uh, quite a few uh, Subaru cars, uh, mainly the WRX STI series uh, in the GC, GF and GM. So these are called the Classics uh, and they go from 1993 uh, all the way up to 2000. So they're the ones that I'm into. They're the ones that I work on the most, um, got spare parts and you know, do all that sort of stuff. So today I just wanted to cover um, the, this is called a Subaru Select Monitor 2 or an SSM2. Um, this is the computer that if you go, uh, if you've got a problem with your car and you go to the dealership uh, and the they want to talk to the car or they want to see why the check engine light's on or whatnot, this is the computer that they use to talk to them with. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video on it just to show people. Um, I doubt it's probably something that most people have seen, but you know, it's a fairly interesting device. Um, they're getting cheaper and cheaper, so a lot of people are actually buying them now uh, and use them at home, which is you know, exactly what I'm doing. So yeah, so I'll just power this guy up. Obviously there's no car here on my tech bench, uh, so I have to plug in external power. So you just turn it on, comes up, and gives you a menu. Now, this is going to focus. Uh, come on. There we go. Yeah, so that brings up the menu. Now, what happens is when you've got a car, obviously, um, you want to do all systems diagnostics. But obviously, if I run that now, it won't work because the car, you know, because I'm on my tech bench, not in the car. Um, it's pretty cool. It has a multimeter and a basic oscilloscope in it, which is pretty cool. You can also see live data on it. So if you have this connected to the car, the car's on, the engine's running, um, you can actually go into the diagnostics and actually see, uh, like the temperature of the car, um, the timing, you know, whether it's advanced and how much it's advanced by, uh, the injector pulses, all sorts of cool stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Inside this is actually a um, FPGA chip. Uh, it's one of the earliest um, usage of an FPGA that I've seen. These were made about 1990, um, so that's quite a while ago. So yeah, so that's basically how the actual um, computer works. I'll just show you a couple of other things about it. Um, because it's got an FPGA inside, it needs to obviously have code to run. So it's got a little cartridge here. You can pull this cartridge out. And if you have a look, this cartridge, it actually says what cars it runs. So this is a 98 cartridge. So it basically does anything that's a 1998. I found that it will do others as well. Um, so this is the most used cart that I have. Inside is basically just a flash, uh, flash ROM or an EEPROM, depending on which cart it is. So this basically defines how the actual unit works. So you just plug it in here, you can see there's a slot in there, cartridge goes in, clips in, that little bit clips in and holds it in, and then now it'll work with the car, obviously plug the car in, uh, and it will work with the car. So that's all that part guys. Now what I wanted to show you off, this is the little printer that I was telling you you can have, you can use with them. Um, it's the one I was working on the other day, uh, making a cable, so I had to make a modular cable for it to, to plug into the serial. So you've got, on the back of this, you've got infrared, uh, you've got to the car, so that's the car diagnostic port, infrared serial, wired serial, um, your oscilloscope and your multimeter plugs, and obviously on off and external power. So basically to do the printer, um, you plug this guy in, so this goes into the serial, because I'm using hardwired serial. So that goes in there. Alright, now let's see if I can get everything in shot. This goes over here, plugs into the little... So this is a little thermal printer. Um, I've been having trouble getting the paper for it, um, but I've found, I don't know where, how well it's going to work or not, um, is some um, medical uh, EKG um, paper. So it's the paper that they use in those machines when they hook you up to the hospital if you've you know, got chest pains or anything to do with your heart or you know, your rhythm things where they stick all those pads all over you. Um, these little printers are used for that as well. And it's 110mm 100 wide by I think 47 thick. 
Um, so I need paper there. And obviously it's thermal, so it, it's, it doesn't have like bubble jet or laser built in. It's just a little thermal printer like your old fax machines and stuff. So now, um, obviously this, this guy's got a battery inside, but the battery's dead. Um, I've got to make a new pack for it um, it's on my list of things to do. So this is just plugged into power, um, plus this also charges the batteries as well. So I'll just turn it on. So that should just turn on. And now I can go in here. The easiest place to do is to go into the oscilloscope because it has a printer, even though it's not print connected to the car, um, it still has a print data. So you press F1. And the printer will start printing. So this is all the work I was doing um, last last week or the week before, making this cable, figuring out the pinouts and everything. And I've actually made a site on my a page on my website about the Subaru Select Monitor because there's just no there's no information about them out there. They're just you know because they are meant to be just for the dealers, not for being at home. Um, so the information is very scarce. So I've got information on the site there that you can't find anywhere else. So that will help other people out that uh, are interested in buying one of these. It's probably probably for people who have a couple of Subarus or if you're doing like a full rebuild of a Subaru or something like that, um, then I'd recommend having one of these. Uh, it's so much easier to either print out the code lists or to have all the actual codes listed in it. So there we go. So it's done a little printout. So that just rips off. And there you go. So that's the little oscilloscope graph. So obviously, um, if this was actually plugged into the car, you'd have an actual waveform there. Um, but for now, that's just a, a printout of that. So that's really cool. It's really handy. Um, I always wanted to have the printer. I bought... This printer was brand new. I bought it brand new. I don't know how much I paid for it. Probably stupid money, because I know they're stupid money now. Um because the main bit I wanted to do was to actually print out the um, uh, the lists of actually what the faults are, because this thing actually lists all the faults. It doesn't just give you a code, and then you've got to go and look up the code. It actually tells you in, in plain English what's actually wrong. So that's really cool. So that's the printer dude, guys, everybody. Um, it runs via serial, which is a little bit different. Most people are used to um, printers being parallel, but well, back in the day obviously everything's usb now um but this has both it has serial and it has parallel um but the ssm this this guy uses serial so that's how you have to set it up so i've got all the information on how to actually do all this how to set up this guy for the printer how to make this cable how it's wired up um, i use this adapter here it goes from modular to uh, a db9 male you don't have to use that bit but it just makes it easier because you just unclip you got two modular plugs you just unclip them and then and then that's that and if this gets damaged or anything all you have to do is just replace the cable crimp too many uh, another two connectors on it and then you'll have it all running again so that's why i use that cable uh, and plus it just yeah i mean I, I already had to buy the modular plugs for here so why not so yeah um, it's funny actually, I bought, these are the six way, six pin, six way or six connect, so six C, six P or whatever, however you want to type it. Uh, it was cheaper to buy, I think a pack of a hundred than it was to buy like 10, which was just like really, really stupid. Um, but yeah, it works. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. So there is actually, there's a case that all this stuff fits in and there is actually room for the printer. Um, so now I've just, I've ordered a couple of rolls, the EKG rolls, and I'll see how well they print. Um, the EKG rolls have got a graph on them, uh, so I'm not sure how well that will work. But anyway, that's the next thing I need to do, because the official paper for this printer uh, is like 100 bucks a roll, which is just insane for what it is. I mean, it's just thermal paper for crying out loud. You know, it's nothing tricky or anything. Um, so yeah. So anyway guys, that covers the Subaru Select Monitor. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know. Uh, and I will see you next video.